So as I've been thinking about what's called me to this work and how do I distill that and describe that, what I've come to realize is that there's sort of two dyads that I keep on coming back to, and loss and privilege, and the other is rights and responsibilities. I'm Ken Taylor, and I'm the executive director of Kids Forward. One of the things that I've realized is that a lot of people that I work with um, have had loss in their lives in some ways, and the work that they do is, at least in part, a response to that loss. For me, I don't think I knew that for quite some time as I was doing this, and it's in retrospect, as I've been thinking about it, that it's become more apparent to me. The big defining loss in my life was the loss of my father when I was eight years old, um, and he passed away while we were on vacation. We left as a family of five, um, middle class family of five, and then we, we came back as a, I wouldn't say we were poor, but very much uh, not a middle class family in the same way, and a family of four. I was different at that point in a way that I hadn't been before. My parents were from England, and they were the only part of the family that immigrated to the U.S., so it was just the five of us. And so when my dad passed away, my mom had this decision about whether she was going to stay in the U.S. as a single mom or whether she was going to move back to England where her support system was there for her and our family. She decided to stay, um, and sort of the, the comment, the that is now sort of not family lore, but part of, part of our family story is what she said is that my kids are American now. And what I, again, have come to understand is that as a white suburban family, first generation, that we were accepted. We were very much seen as, as American uh, in a way that that black and brown families who come here with the exact same aspiration um, to you know, lead a better lives for them and their families, don't thinking about that really um, grounds me in this work. Because we had been middle class, uh, while we came back and you know, income was an issue, we still had resource that many people don't have. And I've come to realize is that the system isn't there for other families in the same way that it was for mine. And in fact, the system often harms families. So that's really the key for me, trying to work to change those systems. I know that they can benefit people. They benefited me and my family. And I also know that they can harm people. And so, so how do we change those systems so that they're just to the benefit, as they're supposed to be?